Puff shrimps. We all hate them. Okay. We all really hate them. I decided it would be a good idea to do a 100 puff shrimp runs and see what happens. But at run 50, I ran out of hard drive space. So I'm only going to do 50 in this video. But if you want to see a part 2, get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do it. Without further ado, I present to you, I did 50 puff shrimp runs. And this is what happened. This is our first run, and it didn't go great. No epics, lots of rares, and we got it to a pretty high level, but overall, it wasn't the best. Run number two. We still didn't get any epics, although we did get tons of rares and a very high level puff at the end. Run number three. We got our first epic in Clover, and right after we got another one in Dandelion. Other than that, we got some high level puffs and lots of rares. Run number four. We didn't get anything great this run, and it's actually our worst yet. We did get quite a few rares, and we got a puff up to a level 11, which is kind of low, but still better than the other runs. This run had a very good start. It didn't transition well though, and our RNG was bad, so we didn't get any epics or legends. In run 6, we managed to get an epic in the spider field, and I was able to transition that into our first legendary up in pumpkin. Unfortunately, we weren't quite able to take it down, and we lost out on the first legend, barely. Even though our last run was great, not all of them are, and this one was certainly not. We didn't get much of anything, but either way, it was alright. Run 8. This run sucked. I was slow to build up the levels, but whenever we did, and we got it to level 12, the puff shroom would die. Needless to say, it was not a very good run. Not many epics, not many rares. Pretty bad. This was our first run where we got an epic in Sunflower. And this is actually a stat I'll be keeping track of. You can skip to the end if you want to see those stats, but other than that, nothing really happened. This was our only run that started from a festive planner, which is actually quite interesting to me. We were able to get the puffs to a very good level, but we didn't get any rare ones. Run 11. It's not an understatement to say nothing happened this run, because nothing did. Run number 12! In this run, we were able to take down a level 15 puff shroom. But this didn't really matter, as we didn't get any epics or legends. Overall, this was a mediocre run. Run 13. In this run, we got our first epic after a long time of not getting one. A level 13 epic in Straw. So we were off to a good start. After that epic, nothing really happened. Although we did take down a few rares and some high level puffs, but... As I said, nothing notable happened. Run 14 was more of the same, nothing great. One of my teammates did say he saw an epic in Sunflower O, which brings our Sunflower epic count up to 2. This run featured our longest leg spike yet, and actually the longest out of all 50 runs. It lasted around 20 seconds, and I hated it, but other than that, we got a level 15 puff, and absolutely nothing else. This run was fun. We had a very quick start and got our pups, puffs up to level 16. We didn't see anything epic or anything cool like that other than, you know, a mythic puff shroom near the very end. Right away, we started rushing up the mountain to hopefully take down the mythic. I arrived just in time to show you that it exists, but sadly, we did lose it. Still a good run, but 
It's unfortunate that we weren't able to get that, that mythic. This run was pretty mediocre until a level 15 epic appeared in Pumpkin right near the end. We were able to take it down and I got some nice loot. After it was taken down, we continued to kill some more buffs and I'd say that this was a nice run. This run had a very high count of rare puff rooms, but no epics or anything higher. So overall it was a fine run, but it definitely could have been better. This run was also more of the same, nothing rarer than a rare, but we did get some pretty high level puffs near the end. It's actually been quite a while since we've seen an epic, and this run was the one to break that trend. Near the end of the run, we got a level 14 epic in the mountaintop field and it gave some very nice honey tokens. Alright run other than that, um, but yeah, we did see an epic. This run had one of the fastest starts yet but it didn't quite pay off, and overall, it was actually a pretty bad run. This run, we didn't get much of anything! We very slowly built up the level, and we probably didn't even get 10 rare puff rooms. Definitely one of the worst runs out of the 50. similar to the last, except our puffs didn't go up to a very high level, and they only actually reached level 12. Other than that, we got quite a few rares, no epics, or anything higher. This run was once again more of the same. Nothing happened, but I did manage to take down a rare puff from Rose, which is one of the hardest things in the game to do for me, because I am a blue hive. This run was alright, but still not really notable. Run 25! This marks our halfway point. On this run, we got yet another epic up in Mountaintop, which gave me some treats, but other than that, we also got some pretty high level rares, and this was probably the best run in a little while. On this run, we got yet another epic puff stream in Mountaintop. The other two that we got both gave me horrible rewards. So what did this one give? That's right, nothing. More dang honey tokens. After taking down that puff, we continued to level up our puffs before eventually t breaking a level 17 one in Cactus. So it was a pretty good run. Run 27. This run was pretty good. We had a fast pace at the start, which would eventually pay off with a level 16 epic in M Mountaintop. And uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to break it, but overall, this was a pretty good run. Yeah. Run 28. In this run, we got an epic pretty early on in Bamboo. Gave some wax and some neon berries, so it wasn't that bad. From there, we kept leveling up the puffs and focusing on an epic in Sun to help my friend out, which we didn't actually end up getting. In Run 29, nothing really happened. It's just another one of those mediocre ones. We leveled up puffs, took down some rares, got some loot, you know, a textbook puff shroom run. In run 30, we got 5 rares in Dandelion, which helped my friend with, with his final uh, bee bear quest, which he was happy about. And uh, from there, we continued trying to level up the puffs, but it wasn't really successful. Um, so it was a pretty good run, but it definitely could have been better. I have this run marked down as insane, because it was definitely the best one out of the 50. After leveling it up really quick from the start, we were able to get it over to Bamboo, Blue Flower, and Clover. And we were, we were all blue hives, so we could do a lot of pollen like damage here. And um, so we leveled up super high, and you know what, I'll just let the clip speak for itself. But still no legends. 
crazy. In run 32, we tried to do the same thing as last, but we didn't get as lucky. We did get, end up getting an epic and blue flower, which gave some wax, but other than that, we just kept leveling the puffs, and then our run was over without really getting anything. I have also marked this run as insane. I'll just let the ending speak for itself, but you get the point. Once again, still no legends though. In run 34, we tried our hardest to level the puff up to a high level, but it was being really annoying and it was going between like three fields, so we were only able to get it up to 16, so it was still a pretty good run, but nowhere near as great as the last three that we did. Run 35 was actually pretty good. And through some lucky level ups, we were able to take down a level 18 puff shroom in the dandelion field. Other than that, nothing great. In run 36, nothing out of the ordinary happened. And it was just the standard run of the mill, level up the shroom, and take down some rares. That's all that happened, pretty much. Just lots of rare puff shrooms. Run 37 was more of the same, and we weren't even really able to get to a very high level puff in the end because our main run kept dying halfway through. It wasn't a bad run, but it certainly wasn't anything notable or even great. I actually have Run 38 marked down as the worst run of the 50. We weren't able to get any of the puffs level up at all, we got hardly any rails, and overall it was just terrible. We did get an epic and blue flower though, and that was cool. So once again, this run was, like, it was actually bad. In run 39, I was worried it would be the same, but it wasn't. We were able to get the puffs to a good level and bring them to Sunflower, where we got not one, but two epics in Sunflower in the same run, which is definitely going to make some people in the comments mad. After those puffs, we tried to kill some more, but we were too weak and the one the run ended. I'm kind of bored, so I'll just say it. This run sucked and nothing happened. And run 41 was the same. It sucked, other than epic and cactus at the end, which we took down very fast. And uh, yeah, it sucked. In run 42, my friend supposedly saw a legendary in pine and he destroyed it. Um, so I'm not sure if that was actually there because I was in clover at the time, but maybe. And uh, other than that, we got the puffs up pretty high level, so the run wasn't actually that bad. In run 43, we leveled up the shrooms pretty well. After taking down lots of mountaintop, we had an epic in the pine tree field, so we went and did that. I actually got a loaded dice from it, so it was a good job. After that, we kept going and took down some more puffs before eventually the run was over. In run 44, it was special because it was the first run in a long time where we saw and actually took down a legendary puff shroom. The last time was run 6. From it, I got some hard waxes, and so from there we continued to level up the shrooms, but nothing super notable happened other than the legendary shroom, obviously. In run 45, we got tons of rares, probably the most out of any run and we were able to level up the shrooms pretty fast. 
but didn't see anything other than trillions of rares. Oh boy. In run 46, we saw yet another epic in Sunflower, which adds one to the count, which gave me some hard wax, and we also saw a level 18 rare in Bamboo that we were able to take down, so it was a pretty good run. In run 47, it really wasn't great. We didn't get much of anything, and we weren't even able to level up the puffs very well. Other than this level 13 rare, quite literally nothing happened. Run 48. This is my favorite run. After leveling up the puffs quite a bit, we sent an epic up to Pup Pepper, which gave another loaded dice. After taking it down, I looked at the coconut field and I saw a bit of purple. I flew down, and there it was. A beautiful mythic puff shroom, and it only had 40 million health, so I was determined not to lose it. I used some glitter and a tropical drink, and just a few seconds later, we had taken down the shroom. We got a Caustic Wax and some Swirl Wax too. This made this the best run by far. Overall, amazing run. I loved seeing a Mythic for the second time, and it kind of makes this video have a happy ending. But remember, that's just run 48. We still have two more. So what would 49 have in store? The answer was an Epic in Blue Flower and another in Clover. These two things alone made this run pretty good. So with that said, on to run 50 our final run. Our final run, run 50. This run started out pretty good, and it transitioned well into Stump, where I got two high-leveled epics that both drops World Wax. A nice way to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, but now we have to go over the statistics. In total, we got two legendaries, two mythics, 22 epics, and five epics in Sunflower. So, 5 epics in Sunflower is probably enough to make some of you mad. No, this could have been a bit better if we were focusing on only one thing, but these stats were what I got, and I also want to thank you for watching if you made it this far. If you somehow see this, comment down below the word puffy and I will heart your comment. Anyways, thanks for the, the growth on the channel again recently. Uh, guys, yeah, cool. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Just remember, if you want to see another one of these, 5,000 likes, and I'll do 100 runs.